Just a forward before we get into today's video. Despite the vibe this channel gives when discussing the actions of the Japanese in World War II, I must say that I have no ill will toward contemporary Japanese society and all its peoples. I respect the force for good they've become on the world stage and the astounding positive economic impact they've had on a global scale. With that said, I do not and will not ever rescind my belief that the Japanese were as bad, if not worse than the Nazi party in World War II, and make these videos to educate people on the mostly unknown and untaught atrocities of the Imperial Japanese Army in their various campaigns. In Imperial Japan, honour was everything, and someone who had lost their honour and displeased their ancestors was treated like an animal and was essentially shunned by society as a whole. This absolute obsession with honour translated tenfold onto the battlefield, and the Japanese came to be known as the most fearless fighting force of World War II. With this fearlessness, however, also came brutality, and an abundance of it too. Anybody who was unfortunate enough to be cornered by the Japanese and forced to surrender could expect years of brutality. It's well known that civilians of China and Southeast Asia were routinely raped and murdered by vile Japanese soldiers, and that civil disobedience in these Japanese-controlled territories was punishable by torture and death. As if it wasn't bad enough for the civilians, the Japanese had a burning hatred for enemies who had decided to surrender instead of die fighting. As many of you know, this led to hard labour, beatings, torture and malnourishment to such an extreme level that the prisoners of liberated Japanese prison camps were described as looking like those liberated at Auschwitz. In addition to this, as we've covered in a previous video, the Japanese also implemented a kill all order that stated as soon as the first American soldier set foot on the Japanese homeland, all Japanese soldiers would be ordered to behead, stab, burn or shoot the 100,000 or so remaining allied troops still in the prison camps. One infamous example of Japanese inhumanity toward prisoners in World War II was the Sandakan Death March, which I'll be covering in full sometime soon. Essentially, approximately 2,700 British and Australian troops were forced to march through the steamy jungles of Borneo, only to be shot when they reached their destination. Only six men escaped, and only one man survived at all. When an influx of new prisoners eventually came in to build an airstrip in 1942, the same group of guards would randomly execute groups of prisoners so there was more rice for the Japanese guards. According to one war crime testimony, a Japanese sergeant told one group of condemned prisoners, There's no rice, so I'm killing the lot of you today. Is there anything you want to say? But, in my opinion, by far the worst thing the Japanese did were the vivisections they performed on live subjects. As we all know, Unit 731 was the Japanese unit tasked with doing these monstrous experiments overseas. However, what many don't know is that if you are unfortunate enough to be an American airman shot down over Japanese airspace, Japanese universities were happy to use you as a live prac for their students. An infamous example of this was at Kyushu University, where eight American airmen, who were recovered from a B-29 shot down near the end of the war, were taken to the anatomy department at the university, where they had their organs ripped out of their body while they were still alive. One prisoner was shot in the stomach to give surgeons practice removing bullets, another had parts of his body amputated while he was still alive, and another had one of his lungs removed and then was stitched back up to see what would happen. There were many other stories similar to these atrocities that took place on Japanese soil, and the list of horrible experiments Japanese doctors performed could go on for hours. However, I think we'll leave it at that, and I hope this video gave you a good idea to the level of sadism the Japanese were at in World War II. And as per usual, I want to know what you think. What are your opinions on the Japanese in World War II? Do you know of anyone who was a prisoner of theirs? let me know in the comment section below. And just before you go guys, if you want to increase the quality and quantity of the videos posted on this channel and help our channel thrive in the environment that is YouTube that doesn't necessarily like the type of videos we post, any donation amount is appreciated. So you can go check out our Patreon in the description below. And as per usual, I'd like to thank my current patrons, Liam Richardson and Charlie Cousins for your continued support guys. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something new.